Now, who requested for a new instrument in Studio One? See that face? My people has been following me. They know what that face, that face is. I didn't ask for a new instrument. I asked for an advanced sampler. Not a new, but it's here. We're going to obviously use this instrument to create a beat. But first, we're going to go through some of the stuff. So this is going to be my first take because I just downloaded. I just updated. I did not know that this was coming out. I had no clue. So you guys are diving it with me. This is the new lead architect by Personas. I don't think it just mean that it just produced lead because there's a extensive amount of presets in here that you can use for anything. You can actually play chords and do a bunch of stuff. We're going to point out some stuff that I've noticed. I noticed that it did eat this CPU intense. So when I go with some of these, especially the hang on a second, let's go to like the acoustic stuff. As soon as we go to the acoustic stuff. Oh, that sounds good. That's the bell mechanic. Bell, bell, mag, bell magnetics. That's what it is. Okay. I was trying to explain. The CPU deal. Let me make sure I'm in the right spot. Cause I have noticed I think it was I think it was at the acoustic. This was some of the first things I just started playing with. Anyway, it's not doing what it was doing earlier. But I have noticed. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> So I, I, I've seen it go as high as 33%. That's not good. That is that is not good. This is the only instrument that's in here in, in Studio One. We are in Studio One 6.6. .6, so you will only see this instrument if you upgrade to 6.6. .6. This video is really geared towards this. So I may make mentions of other things that they may have released in this update. This is supposed to be a minor update, which is kind of cool because now I, if this is your new term, when you say minor and we get new instruments and, you know, look, look cool, little things here and there. I wonder what it means if they say this is a major update. I wonder if that is where they will make the. The change with the, the sampler. We we want to advance sampling. Okay, let me stop. I'm doing it again. This right here, that moment right there represents that face I was making earlier. Anyway, so when you click this down arrow here, and I'm just being 100, you know, I got to be. It's my, my people to, uh, depend on it. Now, the one, the one unique thing about this one is that this one happens to be three different sound sources coming in, and you can morph between three sides. Oh. And it's and I okay. I am impressed. I I have to say that. I have to say some of the things that I'm hearing that that's that's different is unique is quality in my ears. When I long press on a note and press deeper into it, MPE, it is enabled. I want to say that that is the technology that's happening right here. The 
that's the, the mod wheel right here and there's the pitch being i am interested in the design of these because it's a little bit different than what you know what i mean I, I don't know if that has something to do with something that might be coming out pretty i don't know i'm not i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say anything because i'm not sure but I, i'm the reason why i say that is because there was something that was said in the video the announcement video check this out creativity begins here does that mean new creativity start here in terms of personas is about to start doing stuff that caters towards the creatives versus the mixing people? Like, again, I, I keep saying it. I'm a mix engineer as well. I'm, you know what I mean? I record live sessions. I do all of that. I master inside of Studio One. But my heart is music production, making music for people or for myself. And are you guys saying that this is the new thing, the new focus? You, you're you going to start focusing on like tools for producers, beat makers? Is that what we're saying? Or they're just that or, you know, is that just a, a tag a slogan just, just to go along with the new what you guys doing just you know oh it sounds sounds good it's appropriate i wonder what that means you know what i mean i might be digging i don't know but that's just me let's go to another preset so that's one sound That's the third or the second sound. That's the third sound. Cool. You know, it's very simple. You know, if 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 I'm to break this apart, it seems very simple. Here's your cutoff. Here's your sample shift. Oh, okay, I get it. So let me see. If I go. Maybe like that. You can kind of hear it. So if I put a mod on it, let's see. All right. So here's your cutoff. And as I'm touching these, I'm noticing that the this area here at the top, it changes. It, it notifies studio one that hey this is the cutoff which means that this is automatable meaning that you can create a automation lane for for this which is cool so look like i can create automation lane for the sample shift also the morphing what do you call this though what is this level that's what it seems to be yeah i guess it's called level I call it morph because you morph in between sounds. All right. And then to the right of this is your attack release. Real straightforward. So for the three different sounds. All right. So it gets your release is very short and the reason why we hear like a decay so to speak is really the tail end of the reverb or the delay so if i turn well let's just turn it off uh-oh we still hear oh okay yeah i get it all right i told y'all this is the first the first look so there's three different sections and they're color coded, obviously. So the yellow up here, the pinkish, I believe, and then this blue deal here. And here's your three different sections. So if I just turn off all of the effects, okay, that didn't do anything. Maybe I, that's turning off the engine. Okay, I don't want to do that. So does that, oh, so okay. Okay, so the global 
there's a global reverb on it as as giving it its delay. I wonder if we turn it off. Oh, that's the pan. Huh. So this this bar or this line out here. Panning. Okay. I'm looking for a volume. I don't seem I don't I don't see like you no know, just kinda like your quick mix right here in your face. That's not there. Okay, so let's give a little bit more re uh, release. Now, if we want to adjust the attack, you know, to make it sound softer, it's, it's really like there in your face. So I could do something like this. I like that. And then, you know, I could be choosy. Okay. Could definitely, you know, choose what. I like how simple it is. You know what I mean? I will say that Personas is known for making the most simple situation out of something that could be that can easily go advanced. Now, when I hit this button right here, this is the back end. Oh. My gosh, this is what I'm freaking talking about, personas. This is the type of stuff that we need. Yeah, give us the simple stuff. I think that's how most virtual instruments or effects are designed now. There is a simple interface where you have sim sim simplistic things that matter, you know, things that people, I guess, most people will reach for, you know, attack release, you know. Real simple, more from between, just to get that sound, that tone you're looking for, and you know, a couple other things you could do right here in in the forefront, get you going real quick. But if you want to go deeper, bam, that's the back end, and we can go in and really, really dive in. And now we have the full fledged ADSR functions here. See, in the front end, we only had the attack and the release. And that's it. But now there's the attack, the K, the sustain, the release. And okay, great. So it's kind of looking like my tie a little bit, but this is doing a little bit more than my tie. So here's my tie. We throw that in real quick. This is my tie. Right? Simple. But it, but everything is just there. It's like boom, and it's still simple though. You know, still simple simple interface. This one is a little bit more sleeker. Okay, now I'm I'm wondering. Okay, let me unplug that. Let's switch it back. <laughs> I, I I like it. I like it. Oh, here's the volume knob, the the volume, whatever. This is for the over, overall. Okay, cool. Let me hit this arpeggiator section. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Um, I don't know, man. Wow, they put the regular, the Studio One default arpeggiator. I guess it works for this.
Okay. Okay. I mean, I've, I've been also with videos that I've produced at this here. I've, I've been, I've, I've been attacking the note effects with wanting more advanced arpeggiators as well. This is, this is, you know, one of those things we've been, we've been asking for. So I, I'm just wondering, wait a second. Hmm. That's That's interesting. So what if I go do 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 like a like a triplet? Oh, that's too fast. So one eighth triple. Nah, diggy 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 dig. It's swinging, is it? Oh. I'm feeling that. Let's 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 do something. Um, let's get these metronomes going. Uh, okay. Hey. Hmm. All right, let's fix that and push this one, to, push that to one and. All right, so let's tune it. I mean, you know. Okay, so you could change the change the sound. change the volume of something by actually clicking on it uh, okay let's do it like that you know so some of the functions that you are familiar with obviously the Monty you know my Monty is set up exactly like this I mean, I pretty much explained the whole plugin. To be honest with you, you know what I mean. Like, I think I cheated by saying, "Yeah, you know, these are my tight controls." Bam, that's the video. You guys should know <laughs> the rest. It's it's real simple. All right, let's create a beat, or let's just keep going, right? That's why y'all are here. 
like, okay, all right, Ella, what, what, what else can you do with that? You know, I have no problem with showing you how, how and what we're going to do with it. Because that's what we do. That's what we do, baby. That's what we do. We having fun on this video. I wanted to refrain from any edits. This is how we do on the stream. So that's why y'all should be subscribed. We just go through stuff one by one. By one. No edits. No, we just, we just go with flow. All right, let's record that one, three, four. So let's bring in another another instrument. So we looking for the Lee Architect. Gonna put that in right above that. I, I do like the fact that there's room to tweak it to what I like. You know what I mean? Because this could be the sound. And if that's it, it's hard to tweak it. I think that was the problem with my type for me. Finding something that could work is close to what I'm looking for, but it wasn't much of editing like this. There's like three different engines in here that I can go and And I could go mono, I mean poly. And it don't sound bad. Huh. You know what? There was there was a sound we heard earlier. It was like one of the bells or something. This sounds so good. You got everybody on YouTube showing you what's happening with this and that. Really, I'm gonna stop.
you know. <laughs> That sounds good. At this time, I'm going to quantize those. to something over here yep I think uh. do 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 oh, it's gotta be triplets duh that's the problem do 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 We're gonna roll with that. And then we're gonna add, we're gonna analyze it. I think. Take it, take it, take it. Yeah.
in the beginning of the video i did say something about cp now there are some presets i believe that will eat at studio one but it seems that not all of the presets are doing that so i don't know if um personas i want to go back to the drawing board and just kind of optimize a little bit more but um it is his first take it's the first iteration of a brand new instrument that we have seen in studio one in a long time Matai, presence Javi, and i think those are the main ones that have been holding it down the only ones should i say that's been holding it down in, in terms of instrumentation there is quite a bit of presets in those instruments that they've been making but only for those instruments because those was the only things in here with the exception of sample one you know they started doing stuff in there where you have presets in, in there but that sample one is a sample base player if you know what i mean it would be like simpler similar to that for ableton and impact would be the drum machine but you know just for samples whatever but in terms of of instruments where you can actually play play chords and like you know make some of it my time presence basically my time presence i don't know many people's using mojave that much there was some pretty cool stuff in there i will say but you, you just don't you just don't hear that one often you know what i mean it's because it's very limited it's the first iteration of anything i've I'm, well, I'm not going to say that. I'm not really sure, but it's just, it's been in there since I've been in here. I've, I've came on board with Studio One since two point, yeah, well, I had the artist 2.0 version, but I never really dove into it until 3.0 came out. That's when I started shifting my workflow and everything I was doing. I was in Logic at that time, and I just started shifting things over to Studio One. But I came over with a bunch of instruments. I use a lot of native instrument stuff and some other third party stuff that helps me get the job done. So when I discovered Studio One, it was not a real big deal with, you know, in terms of music production, music creation, sound design or whatever the case may be. I'll say Studio One to me has some of the best features or well, in terms of editing, should I say? editing audio editing midi yeah i can put i can give them that claim they're, they're they're pretty decent in terms of editing now i i still don't love the way that midi is handled in terms of inserting no now i didn't have any problems while i was doing this video everything seems to be locking in place for the most part but there there is this thing that this is just a community of people who experience what I experienced where when you press a note, Studio One has a tendency of not catching it exactly the way you input it in the system. Flaws and all. Like exactly. You know what I mean? It will it it would almost be like what we're looking for is something equivalent to a hardware synthesizer instrument. And the moment you press notes or chords while recording onto a hard disk, you know, you know what I'm saying? We want that to be captured and not its digital way of thinking that that's where we place things. A lot of it has to do with the input deal. The, it's a button here at the top, you know, and it catches and it quantizes for you, but that's not what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about at all. It's uh, input, input quantized. That's not it. It's it's different. When I turn that off, I still want to. Anyway, I'm going down a rabbit hole when I talk about that because I've, I've complained about that several times and I'm not going to do that again. But my viewers, my followers, they know, they know, they know about this. And um, yeah, I think it's solid. I think this instrument is solid. It sounds like personas. <laughs> it sounds like personas. You know, 
this song has a sound. It, you know, even though there's like three instruments in here, that Mata, it, it to me it sounds like Mai Tai 3.0. Like Mai Tai got a facelift. Well, I don't know how true that statement is. Because there are some elements in there that kind of remind me, sound why we talk tonality. There are some there are some things in here that remind me of my time, but it is a little bit further. Like things go a little bit deeper than my time. So I guess it will be a little bit different. It's new. It's fresh. It's it's not too bad. I feel like there I can do a lot with this because of the the tweaking parameters. There is a little bit more. I mean, it's simple, basic, straight to the point. Just like my time. Can I change the skin? Nope. It don't look like it. Like the background. Can we change the background? All right. Maybe later on. Maybe that's something you can do like when 7.0 come out. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm looking forward to seeing what Personas has in store. Like what they got up their sleeve. It would be very interesting to see what happens next. This is definitely a step in the right direction. I will say that because here is a brand new instrument. Like, I ain't see this one coming, bro. I did not see this coming. Now, am I am I going to just quit everything that I do and just start working? Like, I never stop working in Studio One. It's just this is a step in the right direction. We're gonna end the video right here, Ella. Beat culture, <laughs> lifestyle governed by art.